It's really not that big of a deal. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if he's still listed as questionable, uh, it's nothing disastrous whatsoever. He'd clearly be able to play in the next series, um, even though Steve Kerr is on the record saying that their status in this series has will have no determination whatsoever as to where, when Steph Curry will play, his health will, how he's feeling. I can understand and respect that, but I ask the question again. Why jeopardize anything? Why not give them as much rest as you possibly can in this series? They are not playing against the team. They are playing against the collection of individuals. It's James Harden shooting the ball. It's James Harden passing the ball when he wants to. It's James Harden looking like a superstar scorer one minute and like somebody who who can't who doesn't know how to pass uh, the next. Don't get me started with his defense. defense yeah. I remember when Harrison Barnes blew by him the other day, and I'm watching guys talk about how the White Howard didn't cover. Uh, James Harden when Harrison Barnes blew by him. But how do you get there in time when a guy takes one step and he's in the basket for yeah. a dunk? Who's that fast mm -hmm. to be there? Unless you're just playing zone and you're manning the paint, there's no way that you could cover somebody defensively that gets blown by so easily. So when I look at it from that perspective, and I look at the fact that six different guys took more shots than Dwight Howard. It just tells me, Skip, you got to remember, I keep bringing this up because when Dwight Howard went to Houston, I was there. Remember, I sat down, I interviewed him. Remember, I was there with McHale and Akeem the Dream Olajuwon and all of these guys and Daryl Morey and these boys. And I heard what they said about what kind of team they wanted to have and what they wanted to do. And I watch this team now, and it's the complete antithesis of everything that they said. So when I look at it from that perspective, if you're the Golden State Warriors, you have nothing to worry about. You might have a home game. All you have to be concerned about is a 40 to 50 point explosion by James Harden. That's it. There's absolutely positively nothing else for the Golden State Warriors to, to worry about. Harrison, Steph Curry didn't play. And Harrison Barnes shot one for 10 from the field, and they still beat the Houston Rockets. Mm -hmm. All right, because Iguodala showed up, because Sean Livingston showed up and had 16 points and six assists off of the, off of the bench, because uh, uh, Clay Thompson dropped 34, because their defense in Houston seems relatively non-existent. It's almost like they don't want big boys covering the paint for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. Because of the White Howard, that I don't care what steps he's lost or whatever the case may be. It ain't that bad. Schematically, you know, culturally, something's wrong with this squad. No and doubt. if you're Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, what do you really have to worry about? Play until you lose a game. Yeah. Now, if you lose a game, you're still up 2-1, and then after that, you could make that decision. Okay. Or you win, you'd be up 3-0, and then you'd be up 3-1 if they won a game. Okay. There's nothing to worry about. So you're saying there is nothing to worry about Steph's right ankle, correct? I'm saying there's nothing to worry about with the Houston okay, Rockets. Okay, you're, so you're why saying in, in this series-wise, series right. there's this nothing series. to worry about. Nothing. Nothing. Should there be anything to worry about going forward with this ankle? Of course, because of the history. Okay. Two surgeries on this right ankle. That's right. Okay, before I answer this question, I, I'm going to be painfully honest about this. Maybe I should disqualify myself. Maybe I should recuse myself because clearly th this is the essence, what we're talking about, of the outcome of the Western Conference playoffs. It, it all is going to revolve around the right ankle, that little yeah. area right there of Steph Curry's. And I'm going to quote our Brian Windhorst on 6 o'clock Sports Center, and then he was again on the, the late Sports Center. That, that you cannot overstate the concern just because it's his right ankle. And it's been so troublesome to the point that there were times three, four years ago, we all thought maybe it could end his career prematurely. He just could never get right with those. He had both tissue paper ankles going left yeah. and right, but especially the right. Yeah. So, okay, we, we get it. The Warriors say we took an MRI. Well, that... Number one, you, you did have to MRI it. So you, you thought it was serious enough at least to look at it. But then you say publicly, we saw nothing. The MRI revealed nothing that gave us concern or whatever their phrase was. Is that close enough to what it okay. was? Okay. Yep. 
how do you know? Are they obligated to come completely clean with you? Or are they trying to will it away? Is Steph's quote, you know, like, I see no reason I can't play in this game. Is he just trying to will it away? Because if I were in his shoes, I'd be trying to, to think it away, like ignore it and say, just leave me be, because he's coming off a second straight MVP performance, and they have another opportunity to become even more special than their 73 win selves are. They, they could sweep the playoffs. They're capable. They could go see. 16 and 0. It wouldn't shock me. Let's okay. dissect All right. where you're going with this. Essentially, if I'm reading you right, you're saying that psychologically, because you injured your ankle, the slightest thing that happens, it edge it, it stays in your mind. Okay? Or, or what can, if what if it's really more hurt what, than, what, than what, you know? What, no, what or I'm I saying, know. What I'm saying to you, uh, yeah. it's a given. You're not sure. because if you feel 100 percent you feel 100 percent But yeah. if you're feeling less than 100 percent Psychologically, it can have an impact on you because you take into account the history, sure. what you remember about Absolutely. it, how you felt you overcame it. Yeah. Suddenly, that's not your reality anymore because now it's hurting again, yeah. and it's the same ankle. I get where you're coming from. My point is that's even more of a reason to sit up there and rest him for as okay, long I agree as you with possibly that. can. Because the, the one defender I do not want to inflict upon Steph right that's now is that guy. Really, yeah. He's just, he's relentless. He's, he's just all over you every second. He makes you do slightly awkward things because you can't really predict where he's going to go because he's so cat quick. So, I, again, I wouldn't play Steph either of these two games at Houston and hope you could put this away and you think there's a chance they could put away a team that might have already been psychologically put away, That's right? right? That's okay. right. That's all right. right. So now I'm back to the issue. And, and again, maybe this is, I, look, this is so hard to talk about. I'm not wishing injury upon anybody. I don't, we know I don't that. want him we know to be that. hurt. We know that. But, but I'm just telling you, they are so great. They are so invincible from night to night that it's possible this is the only way they're, they're going to fall is well, if he can't be 100%. Well, but, but let me say this to you, Skip Bayless. This is the part about you that is nauseatingly disgusting. Okay, you want me to, to want them at full strength. You want okay. you to right. be... I don't. A, listen, I listen. Don't. I am, Sorry. I am a Ric yeah. Flair fan. You, okay. The nature okay. boy. You know what? Woo! You okay. understand? That's me. You, you know what? To be the man, okay. you've got to beat the man. Right. You are the kind of you know person... What? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want the public to hear me say yeah. this to you. What? You are the kind of person... Get out of and skips. I want the camera looking at you. You are the kind of person <laughs> that you want to win at all costs. Mm, if, Steph, yeah, if, 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 if if you don't mm, wish yeah, any harm no, on him, no, but if not. somebody could hit, if somebody could kidnap Steph Curry, yeah. not do him any harm, I'll but just kidnap, kidnap yeah. him, but Go just ahead, kidnap, kidnap him kidnap to it. keep him away from the Spurs, that's what you will take. That's who you are. Me, I want I want you at your best yep. because when I beat you, I want to know it's legitimate. No this doubt. is why Golden State wants Cleveland so badly because of all of these folks out there mm -hmm. who believe they're just champions because Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love were down. That's why the Golden that's the that's, that's, that's the height of Golden State's motivation mm -hmm. other than actually repeating. That's what they want mm -hmm. most, and that's what I'm saying to you. So what I'm saying is to be the man, you've got to beat the man. Except when it comes to Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. Skip Bayless wants Steph Curry kidnapped. He wants Clay Thompson to get sick. He wants Andrew Bogan back you know in Australia. Why? This is what you're like issuing. You know why? What? Because many years my Spurs have been the man, and my Spurs have gotten injured going into the playoffs. Tony Parker said the other night after game one, he just shrugged. It, it, whoever's the interview, I can't remember which network it was, said, you know, you were just like jet quick tonight. What happened? He said, I was hurt last year. Nobody accepted it, but I was hurt. He had a bad hamstring. He couldn't go. I kept saying, run, Tony, run, against Chris Paul in the first round. He couldn't run. He couldn't guard Chris Paul, and Chris Paul took the series over because of the liability that was Tony Parker and beat my Spurs and eliminated him in game seven in the first round. Do you remember going back three years ago, I believe, maybe four now, Ginobili got hurt on the last night of the regular season, busted his left elbow in a game, I think it was at Orlando. Yeah. That meant nothing, and I, I still haven't forgiven Pop for even playing him in the game. But they were not the same. Remember, they got upset by Memphis. Memphis knocked him out. Remember, all of a sudden, Zach Randolph looked like, you know, Michael Jordan in that series. Right. Well, okay, so how many times have so I been words, beaten so by injuries? So, so, so in other what words, goes around the, comes around. Oh, yeah. So in yes. other words, what you're saying I'm is saying. You since it happens yeah. in your Spurs, yeah. it happens. Yeah, well, I, I will say this. I Something will say else. this. 
Skip Bayless? Yeah. If the San Antonio Spurs win a championship because of Steph Curry, because Steph Curry didn't play, mm -hmm. and a Chris Paul didn't play, all right, and a Kevin Durant or Russell Westbrook didn't play, that title ain't the same. Okay. You do understand that. Okay. I'm not talking about the San Antonio Spurs in terms of how they should embrace it, but I'm talking about for the purposes of somebody like you running your mouth about mm -hmm. just Spurs. We don't want to hear all of your bloviating mm -hmm. all year long about how the Spurs are going to win the championship when you're reliant mm -hmm. upon people getting hurt in order for them I to win I'm it. Like, I'm, on just, it. I'm just saying, do you understand that, Skip? Okay. Because I'm not going to sit there. I'm going to give you any credit for that. Miss Asterisk. <laughs> okay. Was. Was that not an asterisk last year on Golden State's run to the championship? Well, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, oh, did not well, everybody whoa, whoa, lose their point guard whoa, right before Golden whoa, whoa. State played whoa, them in the whoa, playoffs? Whoa, 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 Let me say this to you. That depends on what happens this year. It's about how you defend your crowd. Okay. And so what I'm saying to you is that you can ask that question. It's a legitimate ask. But you can't definitively say it is so mm -hmm. unless Golden State, fully loaded, gets knocked off this year. If they don't get knocked off, then they have validated last year's championship. That is correct, and that's what and you they are to be attempting good. to do. And you are hopeful that Steph Curry, because you're not wishing injury, but you're hopeful that he can't play so I'm not the hopeful. Spurs I'm just... can, can, can advance to the final. That yeah. is as weak and as pathetic <laughs> yeah. as it's it not. gets. It's it not. It's pathetic. Wait a second. There's going to be an asterisk next to it. I mean, come on. Wait, did Kyrie come play on. in all the finals last year? No, no, no I'm not saying, he but nobody not. wished for it. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I'm not wait, talking about the Spurs. Talk about? I'm not talking about the guy. I'm talking about Skip wait, Bayless wait, wait, wait. wishing for it. Okay, did That's we just, what I'm saying. Did Patrick Beverly we just referred to, did he There's, play in that? No, he did no, not. He did, not. Skip did Drew Holiday we're, play we're, in the first round? We're talking round? about he what you not. wish. We're talking about what okay. you wish. Listen. Nobody wishes for that. It hey. happens, it happens. You still got to play the games. But you are sitting here yeah. literally hoping mm -hmm. that these these impediments hoping. will get in the way. That is pathetic. You know How could you call yourself a Spurs fan? I mean, it's ridiculous. You are you are All contaminating the Spurs. No, you not. are contaminating them. You should be no. ashamed of your no, stuff. I'm not. I want the injury gods to be fair and oh. equal about this. Really? Right? Oh. Yes. Oh. Because oh. the injury like gods don't ridiculous. like my Spurs. How I many times? It. How many yeah. times yeah. you That's sit over laughable. there and say, you know why I don't like about the Spurs? They're going to get hurt going Excuse into the playoffs. They're too old. Excuse They're me. They're too fragile. Excuse me. How many times have you said that? What I say is that they're old and that Popovich can't help but rely. Okay. On the boys he's always yeah. been relying upon. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is this. They got Lamarcus Aldridge. They got mm -hmm. the reigning two-time defensive player yeah. of the year, Kawhi Leonard. Oh, now they you're got, using my argument. Saying, they got these yeah. guys, and here you are hoping that they'll get help from an injury to somebody else. You're pathetic. I did, I if I were a Spurs, if you I were a Spurs, I wouldn't even want you as a fan. You, know what? you have shamed yeah. this great organization. Pathetic. All right, allow pathetic. me to, to wrap this up by saying, yeah. My Spurs are looking so good right now. It doesn't count. It's against Memphis. Bring on 100% healthy Steph Curry. I'm good. I am good mm. to go. All right. You don't mean it. I do mean it. You know, it. you've lost all credibility as a not. Spurs fan. Yeah. I don't even know if you'll get it back for the playoffs. Yeah. Real quick, because we have dispute. to go to break. Yeah. How far can the Spurs go? I mean, excuse me, the Warriors go without Steph? The Warriors will not win the West without well, Steph I think Curry. that was a Freudian slip. How the far Warriors, can the Spurs the go without Steph? The Warriors, that was the question. The Warriors will not me. win. The Warriors will not win. It was the injury win. gods. They, they got won't me. win the West right. without Steph. And, they, and obviously they wouldn't win the championship. No, okay. they wouldn't. We'll leave it there. God, you got me all fired up, too, all worked up. Now settle down. They'll win this series, though. Yep. They'll win this series no matter what. To the NFL next with RG3 under center. There's a lot of talk about the Browns trading the second pick, but should they? We discuss that after the break. Going hard for the team, call me the captain. Chasing after all I sacrifice on some day and night to make sure my 